um, just how has preseason gone for you and, and what are your thoughts on the TSA farm? Yeah, I think preseason has been really exciting this year. Um, we have a lot of new additions, so it's been really fun to um, incorporate them into the team. And honestly, everyone's gelled really smoothly, so it's been quite fun. Um, and the week in Florida was nice, got away from the rain. Uh, got some sun. Everybody came back really tan. It's all fading now. Um, but yeah, it was really good. I'm honestly like with the addition of Bev as well, like we've been, I think it's been one of the best starts to a year so far. Um, so I'm really excited to to kick, to kick off the season. Hello, how would you compare, I guess this year, a second year under Kim, you guys know how he wants to play in the system mm -hmm. as opposed to last year when you're trying to learn new coach and everything. Is, is it a little more fluid? now that you know what he wants yeah I mean I think anytime you have someone new you're always trying to address to what their style is what they want um so yeah obviously I think that it is an advantage having him for the second year in a row obviously um but yeah I think he definitely has a very specific style so a lot of us know that but it's also incorporating everyone else into that so having the core group know what he wants but also then allowing the other people to kind of catch up to that and learn and grow with us as well is something that we're really excited about. And I think we've done that quite well uh, this preseason. Uh, and a lot of veterans off season. So can you talk a little bit about the kind of youth veteran mix now? <laughs> so heavily you the first couple of years now. Yeah. Like more and more veteran mix. Yeah, I think obviously with the addition of Abby and Carson, I think that that's been really great for us. Obviously a couple of veterans in the league, but I do think that um, there is a, great mix now I think it was great you know in the previous years having such young people as well but I do think that that type of experience versus them coming in it's easier to kind of move people along um so I do think that that's like been really good for us to have that um mix of people you mentioned Bev and what she's brought up what kind of impact do you think she's made or what specifically do you notice is, is her making a difference so far yeah, I think she's very focused on like honing the details. Um, so there's a lot of stuff for us about like body shape, positioning. Um, and I think those are very important, especially in this league, because I think the details are what matters the most. Um, and great teams do the details the best, and they're the ones that do the simple stuff the best. So I think having her, it's kind of like an eagle eye watching us at training every day. And I think she really does a great job of pushing us on those details. Um, but like she always says, she's, she'll be the first to pat you on the back as well as soon as you do them. Right. So I think that that's really great to have. For you specifically, I, I feel like you were asked <laughs> to do a lot last yeah. year, like you, you shift positions, you're, you're doing, playing multiple roles. Mm -hmm. essentially. And I don't know if you guys have like fully got this into form yet in preseason, but what is the vision from Kim and the staff for you position wise? Like, do you want to play multiple roles again or do you want to focus? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to phone a friend on that one. Give him a call. I honestly, do, I honestly don't know, but I think for me, the most important thing is just helping my team in any way possible. So regardless of what that role is for me, I, I'm here to play that part. So wherever I end up, uh, I'm just there to help the team. So who knows? It's always I feel like it's a mystery box with me. You never know. So I guess it's kind of fun. <laughs> so yeah, it doesn't really matter to me. Logan, we have a question from Jackie. Yep. Yep. Go ahead, Jackie. Cool. Thank you. Hi, Lauren. Jackie here with Home and Kick Balls. Um, I have two questions for you. The first one I was just curious as to just what have you learned so far in terms of preseason and just kind of getting together with the team? Yeah, honestly, it's it's been quite fun because there are so we have a lot of international. So it's been really fun talking to people about different dishes, learning about their country, their cultures. Um, and when you have that many people, it's just really eye-opening but it's been like quite fun to try to integrate them into the group and I think everybody like I said earlier has gelled really well so it's really fun um and there's a great energy about the group this year um again like we've talked about earlier there's a good mix of veterans and younger players and I think that that's honestly we've gelled really well and like every week seems to get better and better so I think like again there's no ceiling for us and I think that that's a great thing going into season yeah, for sure. I appreciate you sharing on that. And then my second question was also um, a little bit about just kind of the the future of the NWSL and the club too as well, you know, thinking about how following these um, just findings from these reports and obviously new systems being put in place um, just for you, like how hopeful are you for the future of either the club and or like the NWSL as a whole? 
Yeah, I think it honestly is a great time to be part of women's soccer. I think that each year it's getting exponentially. Obviously, more people are watching, more people are getting on board with it. But I do think like, while like we commend what like the steps we've taken, there's still a long way to go. Um, and I think that the more we can keep working on that and keep like honing that type of exponential trajectory, I think that that's only going to be great for us. But yeah, I'm honestly really excited to be a part of it. And I think that we're doing the right things. It just needs to continue on. For sure. Thank you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I got to follow with that. Uh, yeah. You, you've been a leader on this team, I think, since we got here, but you're one of the, the original members mm -hmm. of the club. Do you feel more, I guess, like even more of a leader going into your third year here? And do you try to, I guess, assert that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think when you've been with the club from the start, I think you've seen the ups and downs. You've seen a lot of things, um, and I've seen a lot of people go in and out of the club. Um, but I think that with that experience, I can help the people that come in. And I think that while I'm not going to be there, like, screaming and yelling, I do feel like I can lean a helping hand or give a helping hand to people that maybe need it. So, yeah, I do think that um, – I can help lead in that way. And it is weird now that it's like my fifth year and I'm 26, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm not old, but I am somewhere teetering on that edge of like being a veteran. So I feel like I'm like a rookie veteran. You know what I mean? I don't know if that's the term they use, but I feel like, you know, I can use that, that what I've learned from North Carolina from here and help those people coming in and just help the team in any way I can. Any other questions for Lo? All right. You're off the hot seat. Woohoo!